Okay, here we go from the other side. Hope you can get a better idea, better view. Nice. That's good. Yeah, he's, he's bend on that first one. Yeah, the first couple. Uh, we noticed that we we had, a, uh, had more tension on the start lead when we first started the coil. Uh, it was definitely looser than the other sections, but it's not a you know it's just a matter of learning how to use the machine. And, and plus, we're making sure that he brings it up and around and across before he lets off on the foot pedal. That that way, it's holding it. See, originally we wanted it just to hold it to bring the wire through, but now we're realizing it comes in real handy to make the upward and across bend as you're seeing right now. Right. Yeah. yeah, and it, it would it would probably add a couple hundred bucks, but we could probably have it so that uh, with, with that um, time time delay relay, we could probably would have to put another solenoid in, in the time delay re relay. So we'd have it so uh, the holder comes down a couple seconds before the hook. That would make a huge difference uh, from what I'm observing. This is where he does the first gap. Good wire. And I'm going to assume you guys have a higher table. Um, yeah, higher higher table would definitely be more beneficial. Look, if you're off by a turn, don't worry about it, as long as we, you know, get the general uh, principle. You think you needed one more on the first? No, I'm on the second one already. Oh, but everything's okay, right? Yeah. Oh. I had to let it go that time early. Was it get caught up in there or something? Yeah, just was a... It's uh, on the shorter end. Oh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Finger, watch the thumb. I'm not gonna hit it yet. Oh, I see. It gets caught over there. Yeah. yeah. I think that with that, I'd probably just try to like pull it in that direction. I don't know if, if that's something we can avoid. Yeah, it was just uh, yeah. bad, bad uh, yeah. timing on my part. So now we're flipping it to do the other side. Much easier to navigate with the longer wire. It definitely frees up the hands to have that held though. You know, even if that was the only benefit.
And by the way, we're not seeing any nicks on the coil now. Um, and the nicks on the wire, we had some of them, but since we're using the, De the Teka Peak hook, we're not seeing nicks on the wire either. I wonder if there's a way we can adjust that so it doesn't come up quite as high. Would that make it faster to get to the surface? Uh, yeah, we could probably angle it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I mean, is there an adjustment how far it comes back? Is there, there's no stop or anything? Oh, no, there's no yeah. stop. Yeah, all right. And this particular piston, this is something I bought for uh, another machine. Um, it was it was doing something. It was actually a, a wire tension on a machine I was designing. So this doesn't have to be the exact... Uh, tensioner, but it, it's, it's actually it's actually working quite well. Um, it, you know, I didn't have to go out and buy it special. So, uh, and we put some little uh, rubber feet on the end. Of, he made this all out of uh, some kind of Del. What, what do you think that is? Um, I think it's black Delrin. Yeah, black Delrin. And uh, I thought to absorb some of the uh, irregularities, we have these round, rounded rubber feet we screwed in. They normally were the feet for uh, one of our machines. Oh, and so there it is. Let me do a little zoom action here. This looks much better than the first one. Yeah. All right, and then so where your hand just slowly rotate it. That's good. Stay right there and keep going. Keep rotating. Oh, like this? Well, uh, uh, the same plane you were in. All right, so... I'm very happy with this one. Um, the other sample isn't quite as good, but we, we, like I said, we only had enough wire to do three cores. So uh, anyways, um, I, I think uh, it's looking promising. Okay.